Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to interface or simulate a potentiometer with data of ESP32. So first of all, we need to open our Google web page and we need to write Vokvi. After this has been done, you need to click on vokvi.com. Here below you can see a lot of microcontrollers. Click on ESP32 and this is our ESP32 microcontroller. Apart from this ESP32, click on this, add a new part sign and we will go for our potentiometer. So where it is, this is our potentiometer. Potentiometer is nothing but a variable resistor with an op attached to uh, its uh, wiper pin that is the mid pin. So now you can see that it has three pins. The first one is VCC which needs to be connected with that of VN pin. The other one is signal pin which needs to be connected to any pin of ESP32. So here we will connect it with the D12. What about ground? Ground needs to be connected with the ground of ESP32. So our circuit part has been completed. Now we will come towards our coding part on the left hand side. Here we will write in wired setup. Uh, we will delete this serial.println hello world and in wired loop we will write int a is equal to and log read off analog read of 12 okay here analog read is a function and 12 within the brackets is actually a parameter defining to which pin our potentiometer has been connected so here it is 12 analog read of 12 and after analog read or analog reading of on this 12 pin has been done it will be sent to the variable a which is of integer data type so we we can print it out serial dot print ln a okay and uh, we can even map uh, this function but uh, here no no need so we will run it out It is taking a bit of time because it is an online simulator. So now we, you can see that we got value of zero. And when we will move the knob of the potentiometer, we got 152 and then 364, 408, and then here 2033, then 3487, and the last is 1495. So actually, when the voltage is 3.3 volt on the pin number 12 of ESP32 we can say that it represents 1495 1495 value and if it is like uh, uh, what's called as 1.6 or like that it is 1985 and when it is uh, 0 you can see a 0 value here so you can check the uh, you can assign the proper proper voltages okay if you want so hopefully you got the concept that how you can interface a variable resistor or potentiometer with that of ESP32 so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe